The timber rattlesnake is one of only two venomous species found in the Northeast. Sometimes people use the term poisonous for these snakes. Poisonous really should be a term reserved for foods that can poison you, things that you should not eat. Venomous for living things that can inject a harmful substance. So in the Northeast, the timber rattlesnake and the copperhead are the only two species that we have to worry about in terms of venom. So it's best not to handle either species. The timber rattlesnake can easily be recognized by the series of segments that form the rattle on the tip of the tail. They're quite a beautiful species. The scales are quite rough. The pattern is either uh, a yellow head with dark chevrons or W-shaped uh, bands that uh, uh, are across and around the body, or a black head, which would give the whole snake a much darker appearance, but both the black-headed and the yellow-headed variations have a black tail. So look for that black tip on the tail prior to the rattle. Timber rattlesnakes, because they are a southern species that requires deep um, caves or talus slopes in which to get deep enough to avoid a winter freeze, rattlesnakes from miles around come together to den in these same locations. So it was fairly easy for early settlers to wipe out whole populations of rattlesnakes by finding the dens. We still have some dens around in the southern portions of New England. With some luck, we can conserve the large areas of woodlands that they require and the food base of chipmunks and mice that they require so that we can maintain these species over the long term. So the primary threat really was direct persecution. People collecting them for bounties, shooting them, collecting them for snake oil, or just getting rid of them because they were afraid of them. It's not an aggressive snake, so we don't have to worry about it coming after us. But certainly we don't want to step on it and we don't want to pick it up. The rattlesnake is not the only species that shakes its tail. Many species of snakes will shake their tails. And so many times people report rattlesnakes when they're really seeing some other species. However, the rattlesnake is the only one that has a rattle. So that rattle makes a buzzing sound that is not unlike the sound of, say, a bee or a fly caught in the lampshade of your light. It's a high-pitched, fast, buzzing sound. And if you hear it, you might well have a rattlesnake nearby. It's very unlikely that they would strike, and most and much of the time that they do strike, they don't even bother to inject venom. But if you hear that rattling, it might be a rattlesnake, or perhaps it's one of these other snakes that's shaking their tail, and it could be hitting against dry leaves or vegetation, and it can make a very similar sound.